One of the problems with love is we don't know ourselves well enough to know who we want. Introducing Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. You send us your date of birth, we send you a custom video, and we'll talk all about you. The kind of charisma you have, your personality, are you funny, not funny? What's a perfect romance? What's a perfect wedding? What's a perfect home? And what not to do with you? Find out the secret to your heart at secretsofbirthdays.com. And all the uncertainty. Order one now. Hello, Your Honor, and welcome back from the weekend, and thank you for logging in. Sunny, strong with a chance of rendi today for the judge and juries of the Zodiac, the Librans. The moon is now in Taurus, so emotions have shifted to trust and intimacy issues. You are emotionally sensitive around your trust and intimacy issues, so depending on where you are with that will determine how that will play out. Could be feeling vulnerable, could be feeling randy. Either way, I'm predicting an emotional shift or epiphany about your feelings around your sense of trust and intimacy or your comfort zones. That's because we have a temporary soul pyramid today in Earth. Now, when there's a soul pyramid in Earth, that means that there's going to be tangible changes. You're going to see changes in the world. Earth, manifestation, it manifests. It's not just the thought or the mind or some sort of passion of the fire. It is tangible results. And it also means you'll reach an emotional epiphany that centers from your sense of comfort, your sense of trust. Now, what's trining together is your emotions about where you feel safe and don't feel safe and your thoughts on the spiritual work you have to do, weeding your garden. You're still wrapping that up with Mercury and Virgo. You're still wrapping up, carrying through, following through with what Saturn did. It's time to step into your faith in yourself. It's time to cut those weeds for good. And so that plays into your sense of trust and intimacy. And then down to Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, which says to Librans, you've got to rethink your self-nurturing. So for you to have this epiphany and shift in your trusting yourself or trusting the world, you got to face the weeds, the boogeyman, and you've got to change your definition of security and your definition of self-nurturing. Also today, it's time to act. We're just now at the end of chapter one of Sun and Leo. Remember over the weekend I said you needed to decide about what you want to step away from in society. Stepping away from a bad friendship, stepping away uh, from you know, a reputation or a certain job or an affiliation with an organization. Maybe you're leaving the tea party, maybe you're joining the tea party. Whatever it is, act on it today. Okay, so take that step, make that action, step away from what's not working. Don't worry so much about what should just yet. It's early in the transit. And we've got Julie Zipper's meditation vibration going live today. She's doing chapter two of Sun and Leo. She's also doing something new this month with her meditation. She's using the elements of the earth to help people ground and get into that meditative zone. So if you're a person where your mind just can't stop thinking, which you are, <laughs> you're a Libra, and you might want to try this little tip and trick from Julie to get in the zone and to start to build a mindful awareness, as Julie says, of your other thoughts. All right, Libra, that wraps up Monday. Now, tomorrow, I think you're going to have a good inkling on where you do want to go in society. All that and more in 24, Live Love Bay. So